Hello, hello! <laughs> Long time no see. I haven't posted on the channel in about a month and I also haven't posted a vlog in probably over a year. And I'm feeling super lazy at the moment because I'm just very tired. So I thought a vlog would be an interesting comeback. So for this video, I first just want to chat and I guess catch up with you guys about like what's been happening in the month that I've been gone and just generally what's up with me. And then also kind of just hang out with you guys for a while as I do some bracelet and crafty related stuff. Also talk about books a little bit because I've been really into books recently. Where do I begin? Oh, and I also have footage of the craft store that I was at while I was in Russia. I just came back from Russia. Maybe I should begin there. I went to Russia, which was lovely. I was only there for a week, but every single day was jam packed with us doing something unique and special for that day. We visited so many people. We had an overall great time. And by we, I mean me and Stefan, who is my husband who lives in Russia currently. And then obviously seeing him was amazing. So I had a great time. And then I also bought a ton of string which I have here and I can show you guys. It's also other stuff, not just string. Actually, let me roll the clips of that first and then I'll show you guys what I bought. So I hope you enjoy the clips. So hello, hello once again. I am recording the voiceover for this a few days later and I am now sick. So apologies if you can hear that on my voice, but I still wanted to record this voiceover for you. This is my favorite shop. It's Leonardo, it's in Russia. It's a chain uh, and here you can see I got the, I think it's called scratch art in English. Uh, it's basically something that you like scratch off. And uh, there's a bunch of different like hobby stuff uh, in the store, it's a hobby store. This is diamond painting, I believe, which is something that I actually want to try. I've never tried it before, but I did not end up getting it here because I couldn't fit it in my bag. I don't <laughs> fly with bags. I usually fly with like a backpack, so I couldn't fit it. Um, but yeah, there's basically a lot of like different hobby stuff uh, within this store. Here you can see a bunch of different yarn. This is obviously usually used for knitting. I don't know specifically which you uh, like which yards you could use for bracelets. Uh, there's people who live in Russia that know much more than I do in terms of using yarn for bracelets, but I assume that there is a lot of uh, this kind of stuff that you can use because it looks and kind of feels similar to other yards that I have used in bracelets. So I assume that it can be used as well. Uh, here we've got a bunch of different cross stitch kits and I love this. I've only ever done cross stitch once in my life before, which I've done a couple of videos about, uh, but I, I think cross stitch is really cool and I would love to try it more. Uh, I just <laughs> did not end up taking one of those big ones because that's a little bit too ambitious for me. But yeah, you've got uh, embroidery floss on these like wheels and then you've got different kits uh, with embroidery floss in them with uh, different color packs, either just like standard colors or as you can see like gradients here. I've got a few of these actually at home. Uh, that I purchased before. We've got like black and whites and that's a gradient uh, strings as well. I think this is pretty cool that you could like have them in packs. And then here is some uh, more of these embroidery kits, but these are more sort of like beginner level, I guess. Well, not necessarily beginner, but these are like easier. They're smaller. They don't require as many stitches or as many colors as uh, the other ones. And I did end up actually taking one of these um, with me so you might actually end up seeing some more cross stitch videos actually i think i might include it in this vlog i haven't filmed it yet so i don't know if i'm going to but uh i might uh yeah these are my this is my favorite part there's so many different uh embroidery colors embroidery floss colors and there's i think three different brands uh I'm not sure that might be more. Oh no, Anka as well is here. There's DMC Anka. This is Gamma, which is what I usually get. Uh, and then something else. I think I might have forgotten what it is. But this is the brand that I usually get because it's just the cheapest and uh, it's 100% cotton. It works for me. I love, love these. It's my favorite thing to do when I'm in Russia to like grab a bunch of the string. This is, I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is the DMC sparkly string. I've never tried it before, but people talk about it a lot uh, in my comments and on Instagram and stuff. So I uh, picked up a couple just to try, see if I'll like it. I obviously do enjoy sparkly string a lot, but I've never actually tried this specific one. Uh, I picked out a bunch of oranges. I'm thinking of doing something like pumpkin related, but also it's like two weeks to Halloween and I haven't started yet. So who who knows, maybe I won't end up doing that. But um, 
yeah, and, uh, I ended up picking out a bunch of uh, single colors because I, I was running a low on like greens, oranges, browns, yellows, reds, those kinds of colors. Uh, so I end up grabbing, I think I usually, like I typically grab about two of each. That tends to be enough for me to last until my next trip to Russia, by which point I sort of have a better understanding of uh, what I need, what I've run out of. So like, as I said, it was like browns and oranges this time around. And then you've got a bunch of like other stuff uh, that I've seen people use in bracelets, like beads and such but I have yet to experiment with that. And then we've got like a bunch of other different beads. But yeah, I love this craft store. There's a bunch that you could get here. So if, I mean, if you're ever in Russia, <laughs> feel free to uh, check it out. It's a fun store and let's get back to the video. So yeah, one of the things that I got was this uh, scratch art, I think it's called in English, which is basically just like a drawing that has this like material on top of it that you can scratch off. And then it has the lines that you should scratch off and then it kind of like reveals this uh, shiny surface. <laughs> you can see my mic. <laughs> and yourselves, kind of, I guess. But yeah, I picked a raccoon, I thought it was really cute. And then uh, the scratcher thing. And then the scratcher thing kind of looks like this. It's got like a sharp point to it. My chair is squeaking again. I oiled it recently, but it's squeaking again. Fun times. Also, I don't feel too great. I kind of have a headache at the moment. See, I've been using this to just kind of relax and chill in the evenings. I put some music on and I kind of like de-stress by scratching this. I've been trying to find new things to do to de-stress after work because I have a lot of stuff going on at the moment, which is why I haven't really been posting videos as much as I used to. Because, you know, I had that period between like when I finished university and before I started my job that I have now, where I kind of just did YouTube full time for like six months. That was a good time. <laughs> I was able to post a lot of videos. But now that I have a job, uh, YouTube has sort of like become a hobby again. And I'm not able to post as much as I can, which is really sad because I really do love doing this. And then I also have another project that I'm working on. Uh, not the point. Point is, I just have a lot on my plate right now. So I'm just trying to find different ways to de-stress, trying to find like different hobbies. So the other thing I got is this cross stitch thing. So I tried cross stitch for the first time a year ago and it was actually a similar pattern to this and similar style as well. Uh, and I did a bunch of videos on that. And I'll leave one of them linked in the card and then in the description as well, so you can watch that. But, um, but I haven't done cross stitch since then. I only really did it that one time and then I never did again. So I need to find the hoop thing. Anyway, I'm gonna try and use this to de-stress. But I do also want to make bracelets just for myself. I wanna sort of train myself to stop viewing bracelets as content necessarily and actually regain that love for them, I guess, because I sort of lost that for a while. It might be one of the reasons why I didn't make a bracelet in the entire month last month, because obviously I was busy, but I still had some free time. And instead of making bracelets during that free time, which I used to do all the time, I mostly read, I read five books last month, which is more than I read in the entirety of last year. I read four books in the entirety of 2020, and I'm already on 17, I think, for this year. And five of those were in September, which is amazing for me. I don't usually read that much and I'm loving it. And I'm absolutely super duper enjoying the books that I've been reading. And I'm gonna talk about them in a bit, but I need to regain that love for bracelet making is what I'm trying to say. I guess you could say that I'm in a slump. Maybe I should watch my own video about how to get out of slumps. I don't know. Anyway, strings. I bought a bunch of strings, which is actually one of the suggestions I had in that video. And I think it worked. I think it worked. I am very much in the mood to make a bracelet because I bought a bunch of strings. I bought a bunch of string. They're all solid colors, but I got colors that I knew I needed. Um, it's mostly like oranges and browns, a bit of like reds and yellows and others. Um, and some purple, <laughs> I guess as well. But yeah, I knew I needed these. Um, and they're also kind of like autumnal. I've been really craving an autumnal bracelet. So I really need to get on that because we're like halfway through autumn already and I haven't done a single one. I also got some of the sparkly DMC string, um, which I've seen recommended a bunch, but I've never actually tried it myself. So I guess I'm gonna do some kind of a review on that and see what I think of it. Anyway, those are my purchases. Here is my beautiful candle. I used to have candles in the backgrounds of my videos a lot, but now I don't have anywhere to put them because you know, the background is a shelf. I can't really put a candle on a shelf, but I do still have them all the time. This one is lavender and uh, it smells very nice. <laughs> Speaking of my background, this might potentially be changing because I did just buy a bookcase. As I said, I've been reading a lot of books recently. I am currently 
reading The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I get my book recommendations off TikTok and YouTube and this has been recommended a bunch. Uh, I'm on a page 139 at the moment. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I feel like it's written a little bit weird. I don't know how to describe my feelings towards it, but maybe I'll do that uh, at some later point. Anyway, um, currently reading that. Some of the books that I read last month, I read the entire Hunger Games trilogy in the last month. That was fun. I also watched the films for the first time. I never read the books and I also never watched the films. So that was a fun experiencing that. I had a good time with that. Also this book, The City of Brass is probably next on my TBR. I've had this recommended to me a bunch. I like to know nothing going into books. So I know pretty much nothing about this book, but I've had it recommended by people who have recommended other books to me that I really enjoyed. Uh, so hopefully I like this one. Also the cover of it is really pretty and kind of shiny. I'm also waiting on, um, I think I bought like eight books. I'm waiting on a shipment of like eight books. So maybe I'll include that in the video if I receive it soon, which hopefully I will. Anyway, my point is they don't fit on my shelf anymore. Like this space used to be occupied by my cacti, which I still have, but they had to move because I had to put stuff here because most of the books here on the top shelf I bought within the last couple of months. Also, most of them I have read. I haven't read Game of Thrones or The Name of the Wind, but everything else on that shelf, also Alloy of Law, I haven't read yet, but everything else on that shelf I have read. Um, my point is I've started enjoying reading more. I've started reading more. I've started buying more books. I've also been reading books electronically on my iPad, but I also buy a lot of books. I'm rambling. I, it's really hard to get my thoughts straight. My point is I bought a bookshelf because I don't have enough space anymore and now I think I'm gonna migrate this shelf back to where it originally was, which was like next to my desk, and then put the new shelf back there. But then I'm running into the problem now. My previous problem was that I had too many books uh, and this shelf was too small. And now my problem is that the shelf is gonna be massive and there's not gonna be enough books. So, you know, I can never really win with this. I guess it's time to transition into that. It's time to build the shelf and then we can talk a bit more about bracelets and such. Let's build the shelf. Date. I am still sick, hence the voice, but I moved the shelf. So I'm actually editing the video right now, but as you can see, the shelf used to be over here. I originally thought I would replace the shelf that I currently have in the background of my videos and put the big uh, shelf there instead. But I've since changed my mind and moved the shelf here. So I've got my desk and then this shelf is here. The reason I decided to change it is because I don't really have enough books to fill the entire shelf anyway. So I don't really need all of the shelves. So I've got the two shelves at the bottom that are gonna be for functional use. I'm gonna put like some storage there. This shelf is gonna be like stationary. I've bought a paper holder thing um, for the back. I tend to have a lot of papers, like documents and letters and doctor's notes and stuff that I keep all over the place. Now I will have an actual place for them. And then the three shelves on top of that will eventually hopefully be filled with books. At the moment they hold nothing. Well, we do have the ceramic cacti that I cannot kill because they are ceramic. And we've also got just a couple of books and an hourglass. But eventually, hopefully it will hold books. But that being said, I did receive my shipment of books. Apologies for the bad lighting, by the way. Pretty much the only thing lighting the shot right now is that 
as well as the light on my nightstand. Still got a headache and I'm a bit sick, which is why there's no overhead light. Anyway, <laughs> books. As I already said, I pretty much go for my book recommendations from TikTok and YouTube, and I usually don't know anything about the series or the individual book that I am buying. So I genuinely have no idea what these are about. I just know that they've been recommended by people that I trust, that I've read recommendations from before and I have enjoyed. So hopefully I will actually like these books as well. Also, I did not realize that these two books, which is a series, is written by the same person that the series is written by. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Also, it's like technically the same universe, I guess. I did not know that. So hopefully I like these because I just bought five books from a single universe by a single author. Anyway, we start off with Six of Crows, which I love the cover for, but I hate the Netflix sticker, which is not a real sticker. It's part of the cover. I cannot peel this off. Super annoying. I hate that. And I'm pretty sure that's on all of the books by this author, but... It is what it is. Love the cover apart from that. Also, you know, don't judge a book by its cover, blah, blah. I do feel like we all do a pretty cover is pretty. Then this is the second book in that series. And you know, it still has a Netflix sticker, but at least this one is black. I can at least respect a black sticker, although it's still not a real sticker and I cannot peel that off. Then we've got the Shadow and Bone trilogy. Let me open that one up. Oh, thank the book gods, these do not have those ugly stickers. <laughs> these are some really pretty covers. I really like these. This is the first one, the second one, and the third one. The reason why I bought the series like in their entirety is because it's actually cheaper to buy them in box sets than it is to buy them individually. And if I do end up liking the series, I'm gonna want to read all of them. And I just kind of took a leap of faith, I guess. Hopefully I do end up enjoying these books. And then we've got the Folk of Air series by Holly Black, which I also know nothing about. I hope that I like it. Let's unpack this. And here we have The Cruel Prince, which is the first one. And it also has a fake sticker. And you know the funny part? It's a quote from another author. And it's the author of these books. And these books, I did not know this, this is a complete coincidence, but that's kind of funny. But also very annoying because this is not a real sticker. And why is it black and white? I don't know. It ruins the cover. But other than that, it is a pretty cover. I cannot get rid of this. That's, oh, that, I can't. I hate stickers on covers. But this is the first one. The second one, which also has a fake sticker. That's super annoying. Anyway, and I'll have eight more books to add to my collection and to my shelf, and hopefully eight books that I will enjoy. <laughs> I will keep you updated, I guess, as I read through them. Uh, but for now, let's put them on the shelf. I definitely need to get a bookend because that is horrible. Also, I feel like the fault in our stars and the perks of being a wallflower doesn't necessarily fit in with this lineup because it's mostly like fantasy and then these two. <laughs> also, also, I'm still not sure about how I want to like display my books and how I want to decorate the shelf. I've been looking at like TikToks and Pinterest posts of people who have pretty shelves and try to get inspiration from that. But for now, this is going to have to do until I figure out what I actually want to do. Let's talk about crafty stuff now. All right, hello again. It is a new day. I am still kind of sick, and if you're wondering why I always film these in the afternoon when it is already dark, it's because I work. <laughs> and by the time I finish work and have dinner and get some household stuff done, it is dark, so here we are. Also, I already edited everything you've seen up until this point, and I realized that it's already like 19 minutes in, so I need to speed this up. So I'm pretty much just gonna start this cross stitch today with you and then do another vlog for all the bracelets I wanna start and also more of like crafty cross stitch stuff. So keep a lookout for that. This is a little container that I got to keep all of my strings in. My strings used to be just all over my desk and I found that really annoying. So I got a small container that I keep on my shelf now and I've already picked out colors for a bracelet that I wanna do. So I'm going to start a bracelet probably in the next video though. And then I also wanna start this cause it's gonna take me forever and it's like a wintry one and I think it's gonna look really cute. So let's open this up. Also, I feel better. I feel much better. Uh, my voice is just still kind of eh, but I do feel a lot better. And I also took a test and it's not COVID, so there's an update for you guys. 
Oh, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna need to read these instructions or watch some videos or something because I have forgotten everything about cross stitch. I do remember that I'm not supposed to share the pattern though. I did not know that when I filmed my first video. So oops. <laughs> but here are all the colors. Oh, so pretty. 15 colors in this one and the fabric itself. I also did finally find this. It took me a while, but I found where it was. So let's try attaching it. I'm not sure I quite understand how I'm supposed to line this up because I feel like I'm always kind of slightly off center. Oh, wait, wasn't I supposed to? Yeah, I think I was supposed to like do this first to find the center. Oh my God, that's the same mistake I made the first time I did this. So consistency. <laughs> I feel like that's relatively centered. All right, that sounds pretty good. I'm ready to start this. And I guess that's where I'm gonna leave you guys today. This video was a bit too long for my liking, but I'm still in the mood to film vlogs. So hopefully the wait between this vlog and the next vlog won't be a year and I will actually film a vlog of me making more bracelets and uh, potentially doing this cross stitch. Anyway, if you have stuck around until the end, I really appreciate you. Drop me a comment if you did. Um, I never know if people actually like finish watching my videos, especially videos like these. I don't know, they're just like really personal to me and I would love to know if you finished it. So let me know if you did, even if you don't really comment that often. I would love it if you commented this time. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and before I go I want to give a special shout out to my patrons as always thank you so so much for your support if you want to become a patron and participate in patron only events such as the patreon not along in which we make a mystery bracelet together or my once a month patron google hangouts in which we hang out and make bracelets together via video call then the link to my patron is in the description but in any case thank you guys so so much for watching i'm gonna go edit the end of this video and just chill because i'm tired <laughs> i'll see you guys in my next video bye